How long does it take to beat Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate? With the game being so massive in terms of content, we must first define what we mean by beating the game. Traditionally, the story ends once you have completed G rank and complete the urgent quest of the village, so the definition for today's video is completing the main story for the entire game. This means you have to beat a tall cotton hub and complete every urgent quest in village. I've taken a glance at speedruns for Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, but none of them attempted to run the entirety of the hub, or both village and hub for that matter, which is where this video comes in. The answer to today's question is why there are no hub and village speedruns as of posting this video, but first we are going to calculate how long it takes to complete the main story. To get the fastest times we are going with the following assumptions. First. Your average quest time from boot up from camp to the end of a quest takes 10 minutes. Many quests take a differing amount of time, but again, this is just a set average to make calculations nice and easy. This is an estimation after all. Not everyone is a speedrunner, so realistically hunt averages will be closer to 10 minutes rather than times averaging at 5 minutes. Second, you only ever take and complete a key quest once, even online. This is the absolute minimum time to beat the game, so I'm asserting players online never take a turn. Third, you do perfect runs meaning no failing quests, and you get every item you need to upgrade your gear for your current rank. Fourth, you play the game as intended and don't hack your way to unlock quests required for completing this run, as that is the only way to get a time under 10 hours. With those assumptions out of the way, let's get into calculating. There are 13 hub urgents, 58 hub keys, and 82 village keys and urgents, ranging from low to G rank. Assuming you just do them in the correct order without having to hop between village and hub, you have a total of 153 quests to clear before beating the game. The total time for each quest type and how I calculated them are listed here. 2.167 hours for hub urgents, 9.67 hours for hub keys, and 13.67 hours for village keys and urgents. When you add it all up, it results in a minimum of 25.501 hours of playing, a full day of non-stop monster hunter and some change. Depending on your averages for quests, this number may be lower or higher. This is the absolute ideal situation, meaning this is probably as low of a number you can realistically get, albeit with a low probability of attaining. That is where the second portion of this video comes into play. There, I will explain why I separated hub keys and urgents. For quote unquote realistic assumptions, first, previous assumptions for hub keys and village are unchanged. This is due to hub keys sharing progress with everyone in the hub. Second, Assume a turns hub is upheld, I'm going to assume the group we are hunting with is similarly ranked and need to complete every quest you do. Effectively, this is the situation for Monster Hunter GU at launch, where everyone is racing to G rank. Urgents become a mandatory turns situation, adding 3 repetitions to these quests, while hub keys are not treated as part of the turn cycle. Third, no one leaves the hub and waiting time for the hub mates is minimal. Carrying calculations from the first part, your time for the hub keys and village are the same, but now you factor in 8.6 hours for hub urgents. So the quote unquote realistic fastest time for beating Monster Hunter GU with perfect gameplay is 32 hours. However, this is a lowball estimate, there is no accounting for in-game time spent not on quest and assuming hub goes swimmingly up through G rank. Most likely time in hub would follow the turn model, quadrupling your time in hub as well, adding 29 hours on top of your final time. This would mean you would spend at least 60 hours with an average time of 10 minutes per quest and running the game without failing a single one with minimal farming. As for my closing thoughts, 60 hours is an estimate. You can definitely lower the hours in village by making your average about 5 minutes per quest instead of the 10 minutes I asserted. However, for hub, you are more or less at the mercy of RNG. You essentially need to have a group of speedrunners hunting with you to get the quest average down to 5 minutes. 
Hunting with randos is out of the question if you want to lower the 10 minute average. For running through the game, you can actually run with minimal armor upgrades and focus solely on skills and weapons. That is because you only upgrade armor for defense and you only build it for the skills. Higher tier weapons take down the monster faster as its HP starts to scale with your progression, meaning all of your resources go into level 1 of an armor with good skills and the remainder going into maxing out your weapon. If you can manage to achieve a 5 minute average, you can legitimately hit 30 hours, but the switch is not exactly built to run for that long, let alone the equipment required to document it, so I can understand why there is no speedrun attempting to run the entirety of keys and urgents in Monster Hunter GU. The village speedrun I've seen Hit around 8 hours with an average around 6 minutes per hunt, so my calculations are within range of being accurate. This ends the video. It's been on my backlog of video ideas, so to have it finally done, it's one less topic I need to cover. These original idea videos drain me mentally, so that is why this is going to be a once a week type deal. Hunt and guide videos are there to keep up content while I try to figure out another cool idea to post. Moving forward, I'm going to post one original idea video, guide video, and hunt video every week, but not strictly in that order. After uploading four days in a row during Halloween, I realized the videos I put out are like every Monster Hunter YouTuber who posts hunts. I'm attempting to differentiate myself from the other Monster Hunter YouTubers in the community making sure to avoid repeating content they already discussed. Of course, guides might overlap it on information, but I'm going to try and give my own twist to keep your attention. Appreciate your views as always. Greedy Knight, signing out.